When I was 16 years old, I received my patriarchal blessing. There, the patriarch gave me two promises. One of them, that I would put together the genealogy of my family. And the second one, that because of that, I would be called a savior on Mount Zion. Now, what is the meaning of being a savior on Mount Zion? Salvador no Monte de Sião. Our obligation to our ancestors is explained by Elder John A. Witso, who said, in the day of the great council, we made an agreement with the Almighty. The Lord proposed a plan. We accepted it. We agreed right then and there to be not only saviors for ourselves, but saviors for the whole human family. The least of us, the humblest, is in partnership with the Almighty in achieving the purpose of the eternal plan of salvation. As I do the genealogy for my ancestors, I can help them to come unto Christ. And as the Savior did something for me that nobody could do, He atoned for my sins. I can do something that my ancestors cannot do for themselves. I can go to the temple and bring them unto Christ. And by doing this, I fulfill the promise that I will be a Savior on Mount Zion. Many of your deceased ancestors will have received a testimony that the message of the missionaries is true. The ordinances you so cherish are only offered in this world. Someone in this world must go to a holy temple and accept the covenants on behalf of the person in the spirit world. That is why we are under obligation to find the names of our ancestors and assure that they are offered by us what they cannot receive there without our help. The temple has been powerful for my, my children, my family. We did work for the dead. Uh, I took all my children again to do baptisms another time, and the ordinance worker certainly didn't know much about my family and who we were bringing in. He said to my children, many of the people for whom you will do work today lived hard and bitter lives. Many of them died believing God had forgotten them. But today you will show them that God has not forgotten them. He doesn't forget any of his children. Their names will be spoken in his house and they will know that God has not forgotten them. We literally become saviors on Mount Zion. What does this mean? Just as our Redeemer gave his life, as a vicarious sacrifice for all men, and in so doing became our savior. Even so we, in a small measure, when we engage in proxy work in the temple, become as saviors to those on the other side who have no means of advancing unless something is done in their behalf by those on earth.